Normally we understand ego when we are like this, né? like, uh, how you say this? How you call this? Snobbish. Like snobbish and, and uh, hmm. proud and like this. Generally we call this ego because I am better than you, etc. But we have a danger here and this one goes unnoticed. When the person is depressed, that person also says, oh, I am not good for this, my things are not good, I am very ugly, I, 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 same as the other guy. So the food of ego is not beautiful or ugly, nice or bad, it is I. The ego eats I, me, and mine. So very often we think depressed people has no ego. Oh, if they have ego, they have huge ego. The only problem is that they have worse ego because it's in red numbers. Okay, so now let's go to the second part of the talk, which is the subject of the day. What are the obstacles that are taking us away? There is something working behind. I want to be happy. We all want to be happy and a family. But what is becoming the obstacle? Oh, I'm sure you have listened about these guys, these naughty guys. <laughs> so we will explore who are the obstacles. And of course, not just know what the obstacles are, what tools we have to go beyond them. If we just know who is my obstacle, ah, very boring, né? what to do? I know who is my enemy, but I don't know how to defeat him. Very, can be depressive. No, we will have tools today. So here we go, the obstacles for our happiness. Ay, yeah, 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 here they come, boom, in a road. The first one is, as we saw already, desire, desire for pleasure. To live in a loss, I always, in, in red numbers, I always need something to be happy. Instead of looking of what I have, I'm always looking of what I don't have. So the mind gets obsessed and suffering just follows. The next one is anger. The, the, do you agree? Does anger make you, is an obstacle for your happiness? Yes or no? Yeah. Or anybody who, wow, oh, I have nothing to do. Let's get angry. Do you do anger for, for, for hobby? Anyone like to be to feel angry? No, it feels horrible. Né? It is an obstacle. I think we all agree. Another one, which is sometimes hiding, because this is very good for hiding, is ego, our mana. I am, I am better than you, or I am, etc., etc. Oh, this one makes big trouble. <laughs> this is the troublemaker because this one is the one who desires, and this one is the one that gets angry. What does ego say? Are you talking to that to me? To me? So, how uh, isn't it? The anger was small, but if you, which are, con I consider you to be lower than me, hence the ego, né? and you're talking like that to me? Oh, the anger grows very much. But if your boss come and told you like that, oh, are you talking like that to me? <laughs> hey, so how, how is it? Ne? Ah, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, no problem. Ah, ah. Hey, ne, it's very different. So ego, big problem. Ego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, ego changes a lot. Anger changes a lot depending with who you are having anger. <laughs> who is making you angry? <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Okay, next one. Oh, this is the boss of all of them. Ignorance. Because of ignorance, we have ego. Because we have ego, we get angry. Because we have ignorance, we think we can possess something. And because we have ignorance, we think we can possess something. We have desire, endless desire. So here they are, my dear family, the obstacles for our happiness. These are the enemies. We must know the enemy well, isn't it? If you are a chess, a professional chess player, and you go to play to somebody, you must know how that per the style of game of that person. Would that be helpful? You know how what he does on this situation, what he does on that situation, what he does on that situation. Well, so when you are in that situation, oh, I know you, man. I know you will do that. Boom. So you immediately move. The same we need to do with our enemies. We need to know them very well. When do they jump in our lives? How do they control us so we can start cutting the, the strings? They will, ignorance, you will not control me anymore. Anger, you will not control me anymore. Desire, you will not control me anymore. I see you. 
I know who you are. I know when you come from, and I know how to cut you. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. That, in short, is what the Buddha taught. <laughs> Learn about the negativity and know how to cut it. So, okay, so let's go. Time is okay? Good. <clears throat> okay, so here we are. If we summarize them, you saw, you saw the animation? You see, two of them goes to the family of loba or raga, desire. We, we also love ourselves. Our ego loves ourselves so much and we desire. Then we have anger and ignorance. Loba, dosa, and moha. We can, that's how the, in the, uh, the Buddha explained them or also in many ways the teacher uh, go. So this goes desire, ego, and attachment. This one we already explored a little bit in the beginning of the, of the session. Of course, we are attached to our desires because we are searching for pleasure. But now let's start looking better to the things we already saw a little bit about desire. The things we can do to overcome it is not obsess into what we don't have and we better obsess in what we do have. So once we practice gratitude and see our blessings, naturally, sooner or later, satisfaction will start to come in. Satisfaction will bring peace. Peace will bring wisdom. And wisdom will bring more detachment and so on and so on. We'll start going up and up and up, liberating our mind. Another way to go beyond our desire or attachment is practice detachment, generosity, totally opposite. When I am attached, oh, this is my thing. This is my uh, hammer. This is my hammer, mine, 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 mine. I don't want to give. So it's desire, I, I love it and I'm attached to it. I know but when you suddenly say, okay, you can use it, take it for your use. When we let go of something, we are going totally against to desire to the source of suffering. You remember? The cause of suffering is desire and attachment. That's what the Buddha said. So when we are practicing generosity in any kind, not just not just uh, giving things, you can also give something, uh, food or give something to somebody else, clothing, whatever, but also your presence, your ear, your knowledge, your, 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 how you say when somebody is suffering and you come and, and, and make a, mm, no problem, no problem, ganula, no problem, no problem. How you say that? Uh, solace, no? Solace. You come and, and, and help somebody else. You give your presence. Don't worry. Don't worry. So, our company, friendship, etc. Many ways to practice generosity. And then, uh, this is the opposite of desire. So, here we have some, someone. So since we already saw a little bit about the other ones, let's go to these tricky ones. Let's go to anger, another <coughs> obstacle for happiness. And as you can see, anger has many faces. This one, how she looks? She looks like bored, isn't it? But have you seen a children when the children is, Mama, when, is the dent when are we going to the dentist? Uh, I mean, they're waiting in the dent dentist office. Uh, is, are we ready yet? No, not yet. Wait a little bit. Oh. Mama, when are we going to the dentist? How is, is this boredom? Not anymore, already anger, isn't it? So actually, boredom was already a, a kind of angriness. I don't like this situation. So then if we don't, uh, if we don't check this one, it becomes more, or uh, more, wow, well, this, this one looks very ugly. She's very beautiful girl, I suppose. But look, when we are angry, this is how you look when you are angry. Ne? So remember, if you like to be beautiful, don't get angry, ne? because this is how you look like that. When I saw this photo, I thought, was you know this Chucky? Like, uh, I saw, wow, like this. Real then. So this is how we look. And of course, hatred, it can go from small. So this is what very important to know. And this is how we go. <clears throat> now, did you explore or heard about this one that very often desire leads, to, leads us to anger? Have you seen that? Because when we check the Four Noble Truths, the Buddha says in the cause of suffering, he said, desire and attachment, isn't it? When well, we come, Bante, but I have suffered a lot because of anger. Ah, here he comes. That's why the Buddha, why the Buddha only said desire as the source of suffering. I show you one example, which I find very useful. Okay, you are this kid. And then, of course, you want to eat the cookie, but you need to finish your vegetable soup first. So what happens, your mama comes and says, ah, 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 yes, there are some cookies there, but you need, to, you need to eat the vegetable soup first. And then the mama takes the cookies away. What do you think happens to this little cute boy? What do you think happens? Of course, <laughs> he gets angry. So can you see the relation? Now, this may seem funny, check in your life. Every 
time we have gotten angry in our life is because we were expecting something different. We already had a preference for something else. And when that something was snatched away, what did we do? Fight. Fight for it, get angry. So in this way, my dear family, the Buddha was not incomplete when the Buddha says, the source of suffering, of all suffering in the universe is desire, he was right. We desire something, we cannot get it, and then we go to anger immediately. So there is a big warning here. Careful with expectations, my dear family. Be very careful because we make them very easily. And my teacher, Seattle Tajania, said that expectations have only two possibilities. Either they become true, uh, I get what I wanted, or I don't get what I wanted. And he said that in both of the situations, you get bad. I say, Bante, how come? If I get what I wish, is wonderful, isn't it? Well, here comes, if your expectation becomes true, what do we do? What did I tell you? Uh, 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 isn't it? Ah, uh, what do we do? Mana already, more ego, further problem. So if our expectation becomes true, look at how cute he is, isn't it? Yeah, so ego comes to our side. Now the worst one is when the expectation doesn't happen, we just saw it with the child. But it is more detailed and more dangerous. So pay attention to this part. When our expectation is not fulfilled, the first thing we experience is insatisfaction. And what does the, our mind say? Hmm. Anyway, I didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> but then if we don't pay attention to insatisfaction, it moves further and then we get to frustration. Mm. Okay. <laughs> then if frustration is not taken care, it moves to anger. Now I'm getting angry. Why are you taking that away from me? And if anger is not controlled and look and take over promptly, here we go. It's normal. We go to violence. Simple. Isn't it logic? Insatisfaction, frustration, anger, and violence, they are all connected because of a previous desire that was not fulfilled. And here we go to two problems. Violence have two ways of happening, and this is very important, my dear family. Put attention to this. Violence can be external. We can scream, we can hit, we can fight, or even kill, as it happens, unfortunately, in wars. Or one that is not over, uh, very taken care enough we can also have inner violence. And then when the inner violence, we came from here, 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 but instead of taking the path of burst and, and external violence, we come here. And sadness is also a kind of dosa. We are angry with life. Whatever I wanted disappeared. Oh, I lost it. And then we are angry and the balloon, instead of being like this, it goes <laughs> Uh, balloon just get like this. And if we don't pay attention to sadness, careful. And we have a social problem about this heavy social problem. We didn't pay, pay attention. Sadness becomes depression. I can say that sadness is, depression is sadness that got infected. You got a cut, you didn't take care, it got infection. Depression is sadness that was not taken care on time and it got infected. And sometimes it's too late to heal. So be very careful here, my dear family. We have a big problem on this side in all ages and teenagers and the, the rate of age is coming down alarmingly. So this one explodes out and this one implodes and we may take this for granted, but actually those is happening. Slow fire. How do you cook Chinese medicine? How many hours do you put Chinese medicine? F five, 10 hours? Well, okay, 10 hours, you put Chinese medicine. You put the slow fires in it. That's what happens with this kind of dosa. Very dangerous, and we need to be careful. Please inform your family. So with fire, we know, if small, easy to turn off, but if it grows, if it grows, and we are looking somewhere else, and we don't know that the fire is on, if we don't have mindfulness, if we don't have sati awareness, this is what the Buddha said, without awareness, you are lost, man. You are lost. Without mindfulness, the fire, if you don't look at the fire, it will burn the house, it will burn the whole uh, forest. And the same happened with the emotions. We started bored and then frustrated, angry, chucky style, then totally crazy and then out of our minds. Isn't it? That's, this happens. It makes sense just like that. So this is the bad news. Do you want some good news?